Hey guys, Tatiana Ward here. Thank you for coming back to my channel today. For those of you who might be seeing me for the first time, again, my name is Tatiana Ward. For many, many years, I made YouTube tutorials. I turned into a celebrity makeup artist and then I had a baby. And traveling, doing celebrity makeup artist uh, stuff is not that easy when you have a small child. However, I have been talking lately on my YouTube about Wigovi and weight loss injections. I have now completed four shots of Wigovi. So the way Wigovi works is that after four shots, you're supposed to increase your dosage. So how's it going for me? At the completion of my third week, I took my fourth shot. This means in one month, I lost 13.2 pounds. And let me tell you, it is so nice to see my cheekbones. I'm starting to see my face again. If you're new to my journey, I posted the first two weeks of my Wigovi journey. I will put links here so that you can watch them, or maybe it's on this side, I don't know. But I'll put links so that you could watch the first two videos so that you know the backstory, the health reasons why I began to take Wigovi, and um, also, you know, side effects and all the things that I learned when I initially did the deep dive into this weight loss injection. Now, down to the title of this video. I'm gonna reiterate that the way Wagovi works is that you, most prescribers are gonna start you at 0.25, a 0.25 injection. Sorry, I had to go get my pen because I want you to see what it looks like. Here is what the pen looks like. You're supposed to take this shot once weekly. Okay. Anybody who is already on Wigovi, if you're in your first couple weeks, I suggest that you go to your pharmacy and find out when the next time you are due for your medication uh, will be or when you qualify to get your next installment of pens. I'm so glad that I did this. So I got my medication at CVS. If you don't know already, there's like a shortage of it. Well, I should say some people are struggling to find it. I logged into my CVS app where I get my medication and it notified me that I was due for a refill on such and such date. So a week prior to such and such date, I let my endocrinologist know that I anticipated picking it up. Would there be any, um, you know, do I need to inform him? Do I need to inform my insurance company? Like just letting you know, I am hitting my fourth week mark and want to get my ducks in a row for the next dosage and make sure that I can find it and all that stuff. And he called in the prescription for me because CVS was notifying me that I could pick it up then, but it didn't mean it was called in then. Finally, the day arrives. I had just taken my fourth shot. I went to CVS after my doctor called in the prescription and they gave me this same dosage again, the 0.25 call my doctor, I say, hey, as far as I know, from what the Wagovi website says and everything, after you're done the first four pens, you're supposed to get a increase in your dosage amount. And they say, oh, that was a mistake. We'll call them, we'll send the right dosage. Roll back around. Dude at the CVS pharmacy window says, okay, um, we did get that call in for the correction of the dosage, but we are not gonna be getting that higher dosage until like, next week. So now I'm freaked out because that is too close to the time in which I'm supposed to be taking my next shot. I call my doctor's office back and they're busy and I'm trying to talk to the doctor and say, is it possible for me to just continue on the same shot? I have had zero side effects. Um, I'm comfortable here. It's still working for me. I'm happy to just take the medication that they have right here because I feel like I don't know if they're gonna get that prescription or that medication in. They say they are, but again, there's been shortages, whatever. What do you advise is what I'm trying to figure out from my doctor. My doctor never calls back. I've waited two hours to hear back from him. I feel like I've already called the physician's office like too much at this point. So I go back to the CVS and I say, look, I still have not heard back from my doctor about my questions pertaining the higher dosage. And dude cuts me off. He's the actual pharmacist. He leans in and goes, listen, honey, with this stuff, you need to take what you can get. That was all I needed for him to say. I knew exactly what he was saying. This is hard to get. If you could get something now, get it. 
And so I am fine with that. I was not like thrilled to possibly move up to the next dosage anyway and find out that, you know, I'm going to have some type of reaction to the to that, you know, higher dosage. This was working for me and that's fine. So I have a four week supply of this, this same dosage. So that is where I shall remain. I think what I should have done differently is really get on top of my doctor, maybe even two weeks in advance, have a conversation with him and jump through all the hoops so I'm not calling him just a week before, but maybe two weeks before and say, listen, there's shortages, whatever. Can we get this called in? Um, are you allowed to put the prescription in early for me? And how much time do I have to pick it up? Those are things that I have to figure out. Something I suggest you guys do, and this is like so backwards, like they tell you absolutely not to do this, but like it just works for me and the motivation is really there. I weigh myself every single morning before I have my coffee, before anything, I'm weighing myself. On the days when this medication makes you constipated and on the days when I haven't pooped for two days or something, I am still losing weight and I feel bloated and whatever. It's like I'm still still losing weight, so that's great. But it's just good to see on average that I'm losing like three pounds a week. If you have a Fitbit scale, um, I have an Amazon scale that I highly suggest even above the Fitbit scale. I'll put the link down below. It really shows me my progress and it does my BMI and it does, it has all types of information within the app and it's only like a $30 scale. I'll put that link down there and I highly suggest you get it. And I've had that scale for like two years and the batteries have still not run out. I, it's like a... I have no idea why I haven't had to change the batteries because I use my scale all the time. So I love that, love that scale. Also, it's super duper on point. When I go to the doctor's office and I'm fully dressed, it's only like slightly off because at home I weigh myself naked. As far as what's working for me right now, please go back and watch my previous videos where I really detail how I started this journey because it's now, you know, three weeks after the initial video that I made and I'm still doing things pretty much the same and it's working. I hear some people say that they've only lost three pounds in a month, but dude, that is progress, okay? Like for those of us who've struggled with our weight, three pounds is progress. It's better to see it moving down than see it plateau or see it go up. So if you've only lost three pounds, I'm proud of you. That is, that is progress. However, I th really think that the things that I am eating um, are keeping me full, giving me the protein that I need to keep going with, um, without being tired because you are, I am eating significantly less. So I encourage you to go watch those first couple videos, especially the first video, so you could see the things that I incorporate into my diet on a daily basis. A month later, I'm still tracking my food using the My Plate app. I will always suggest that. I honestly don't know what the averages are that you should be losing, but I say losing is losing and that's great. If I can help you or show you what I'm doing that is giving me the progress that I'm having, that's not to say that that's even going to work for you, but maybe give it a try. Again, I'll link those videos. They're in, in here somewhere. And I just want to share with you something that has just become overwhelmingly abundantly clear to me in these past few weeks that I've been taking this drug. I have struggled for so long with my weight. And the introduction to this medication came because I'd gone to an endocrinologist trying to figure out why it is that I don't have consistent periods, that I have a menstrual like once a year, or I just bleed uncontrollably. And it took us months to narrow down what it wasn't. It's not diabetes. It's not a thyroid issue. And he, a couple of weeks ago, gave me progesterone to take, like four tablets. And he said, if you take this progesterone, and if by the end of it you menstruate, then that is my indication that you have PCOS. It took the medication... And by the end of it, I had a period. And within all of my research and all of my reading and all of my watching, it is so nice to feel seen and to feel heard because I always knew that my weight and its being uncontrollable had something to do with my hormones, had something to do with my period and why I wouldn't get it. I don't have the official diagnosis of PCOS yet because... 
Um, I haven't seen my doctor after the onset of the period, but he pretty much let me know, you know, if you stop, once you stop taking this progesterone, if you get a period, that's my indication that you have PCOS. So I think it's safe to assume that I have PCOS. I also got an ultrasound last week and um, was told that I had a big old cyst on my ovary. And this is not anything like years and years ago, I was told that I had PCOS as a teenager and I was told that I might not be able to, to have a baby and all that. So this is just me being re-diagnosed as an adult and actually doing something about it rather than just having the diagnosis and going and living my life and being young and free and not caring. I do have a baby now and I do care now, but it's just so nice to know that this issue can be controlled and that the two might just go hand in hand. There's so much science that states that hormones have a major factor in obesity. You know, for years struggling with my weight, it's like, I felt like, is it me? Am I just out of control? Is it my fault? And I have to take accountability for a lot of things. I'm not always the most active person, but perhaps that's because my mood isn't, you know, it's all intertwined. I could make better decisions when it comes to my eating habits and my being active, of course. However, I've spent so much of my adult life probably thinking about that and doing things about it more than the average person because the average person doesn't have to be as active as I do in order to maintain my weight. There's so much shame when it comes into this, this weight. Society tells you that you're a fat ass because you're lazy or because you made that choice. And science is proving more and more regularly that although being active and eating right is a massive factor. So are hormones. There are people who do everything they possibly can and they still are gaining weight, especially as they age. For the first time in my life, I feel like, is this all it took? Like it was just a single shot once a week and all of this is gone. It feels incredible. It feels like a miracle. So if you were on the fence about this drug, I encourage you talk to your doctor about it. You're not cheating because you need medication that will keep you at a comfortable and healthy weight. It's okay to go get the help. And in the process, learn about your body and conditions that you may have that may be affecting your body or your depression, mental state. Um, just there's, there's so many reasons and things that you will learn in the process of seeing an endocrinologist who is a hormone doctor, talking to your family physician, getting to the bottom of why your body does the things that it does. Um, I, I, I talked to my sister today who also struggles with her weight just as much as I do. And I told her today, like, no more shame. She also is starting today. She started her first shot of Wagovi. And I said, no more shame. No more feeling like you are lazy or can't get your shit together because you have to constantly obsess over your weight. I really hope that they make this drug more accessible. America has a huge obesity problem, a huge depression problem. It's just, uh, it is as necessary as insulin to diabetics because one is the precursor to the other. Anyway, so in the last video, I did talk about struggling with the constipation chow. The constipation of Wagovi. I'm trying to move around this light. Wants me to be Rihanna so bad. Shine bright like a diamond. Anyway, okay, I guess it's just gonna have to be there. I've been doing good with Fiber One cereal, putting ground flaxseed in yogurt. Something else that I added recently is vinegar. Bragg's Mothers of Something Vinegar. It is supposed to help with your digestive system. It is supposed to detox your guts. So I start the morning with fiber one cereal or I'll have it at a snack at some point in the day. Then I'll do a tablespoon of ground flaxseed in yogurt in the evening. That's like a treat for me. That's like an after dinner treat. But in the morning, first thing I do this combination. I fill up my Yeti that I told you guys about that I love that keeps my water ice cold. I put in a tablespoon of Bragg's apple cider vinegar. I'll squeeze a whole lime. I'll put a half a bag of liquid IV. 
and that is doing a number of things. That liquid IV is making sure that I have the sugar in my bloodstream that I need so that my sugar doesn't crash. That apple cider vinegar is cleaning out my guts, making sure my digestive is good. Also, the liquid IV is giving me electrolytes that will keep me from getting the headaches that Wagovi tends to want to give you. All of that is working for me. Come evening, I have myself a poo, y'all. It might be a tiny little poo, but it's a poo. Now the only thing, okay, so something that I haven't touched on in all of these Wagovi videos is the workout thing. I have not started to work out yet. And I need to real bad because the whole thing about losing weight super fast is that you also lose muscle mass. And I really need to start lifting muscles to make sure that I don't get like super flabby, even though I'm already flabby. I've spent my entire life um, crash dieting and all that stuff. So I have never been toned. However, this is really coming off really quickly for me. So I need to start lifting and all that stuff. And I don't even know once I figure that out, I will let you know and I'll bring you with me. But I that's not a thing yet for me. Anyway, thank you guys so much for tuning in to this video. Thank you for watching and following my journey. I hope you ask your questions. Um, ask them down below. I've been trying to make a habit of answering your questions or just giving you a touch and agree sometimes because I know this journey is new to us all. Although appetite suppressants like the Wagovi or the Ozempic have been around for almost 20 years, by the way, that's something I never knew and I just learned this week. I want to tell you about this doctor that I found. She's the one that I got the 20 year information from. Hold on, let me find her. This lady. Go find her on TikTok. God bless her. I really want to go and like find her and squeeze her and also do her makeup because she's gorgeous. She's a doctor that specializes in obesity. Um, watch all of her content. It's amazing and you'll learn so much. But she's the one who informed me that these medications have been around for 20 years and here we are thinking that they're brand new and they're not. So that means that we have 20 years worth of data and research on these things and that's amazing. It, it'll, it made me feel a lot better about putting it in my body even though I was so desperate I was putting it in my body anyways. But yes, anyway, okay. So answer your questions below or ask your questions below I mean and I will try to answer them as best as I can. Thank y'all so much for watching. Please make sure you subscribe because I'm going to be doing more updates. I love you all. Congratulations. Even if you've only lost two pounds, it's still progress. Okay. Love y'all. See you next time.